as a splenic projector, I need more. In Ugh. Ugh. Let's try again. As a splenic projector, I need more explanation on distinguishing anxiety and intuition, please. Great question. And I'm also a splenic projector. And this took me a long time to figure out. Okay. It's like, I'm, I almost feel like I just figured it out today. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for myself. Um, okay. So the spleen, fear and attunement are two sides of the same coin. Honestly, you have to have both because the spleen is the center of instinct. It's the oldest center, okay? It's like the one that keeps us alive in a very instinctual and like biological way. So naturally, like there are healthy fears. If you're about to be attacked by someone or something, like makes a lot of sense to get pretty anxious, to get pretty, you know, afraid of that. If you're about to eat something poisonous, right? It's like, Oh, something's not quite right here. Like that doesn't quite look right. That doesn't quite smell right. Like that doesn't quite taste right. What's happening here? I'm afraid to eat this because I might get sick or die. But it's when you take those like little nudges from the spleen and you move them on up to the brain and you try to like rationalize it or project it out into the future or pull the past into the present moment. That's when we get in trouble because the, the spleen only speaks softly and one time and in this now moment, right? Is what will keep me alive? What is gonna keep me ticking in this now moment? It's not about protecting you from something that may happen in the future. It's not about protecting you from the past repeating itself. It is an intuitive nudge about right now. Am I safe? Am I good? Am I healthy? Am I gonna live? Am I gonna survive? Those are the types of questions that the spleen asks. And with that as your authority, like that's your main filter for decision making, right? You're just like waiting for something to come into your experience and then you get to decide, is this good for me or not? Is this healthy for me or not? It's only when you pull in your thoughts and you pull in your brain and you try to rationalize, you try to make sense of things, that's when the anxiety kicks in, okay? That's when everything goes into overdrive. And so when you stay in this now moment, presence, right here, right now, that is when you have the most attunement, intuition, availability for intuitive nudges, availability for higher wisdom. Basically, you are available to know what is good for you in the right here and now because you're not attached to the future or the past. Like, simple as that.